Hello, we come back for more exercise with the touch designer. So in this sequence of exercises, we are going to explore how we're going to work with 3D and together with the video images. So the first one, we just set up the basic environment for three-dimensional displays rather than the 2D one that we used to have. And again, we tidy up the screen and create the new project folder. So we use the name like play 3 d one and without putting any other material in. So we turn off the parameter window as well. In order to play with the 3D, so what we need to do is set up the environment which we can render the 3D in uh, eventually back to the on the 2D surface. So the first thing we need is a geometry. Geometry deal with the model that we are going to construct in the 3D space. The second one also from the COMP. So COMP is the component that we find all the basic 3D setup building blocks. Second one will be the light. That's the lighting system we want to have. And the third one from COMP will be the camera. That's from where you look at your 3D scenes. So after you have the one, two, three, three basic element, we need the final one from TOP. That is the render to convert or project the 3D scene onto a 2D surface. So if you click on the display, this is a 2D display. And if you want to, you can just send it directly back to the output window. In order to differentiate the objects, so we can actually have a look. So we save it of the different window. So for the render, is it 2D? And for the 3D part, you see quite a number of other buttons that we are going to work with later. So if we right click and choose view, in if you move it around, so actually you see this is a 3D environment. So the viewer is actually a 3D environment. And to add your model onto the 3D geometry, you can have two options. So option one is to go inside the geometry run by double click it and then to introduce more of the 3D objects around here. And option two, if we go outside, we can build our 3D environment or 3D models right here in the canvas and then connect it back to the geometry for display. So we adopt the second option. So in this case, we need to remove the donut, that is the torus, inside the geometry first. So we double click it, click and then delete. So after we delete it, we still need to add one more object as a placeholder or a dummy object. So that one come from SOP. So for 3D objects, we're going to use quite a lot of the SOP, the surface operator. The one we're going to use is in, I N, input. So once you put a dummy input here, you can now connect other 3D model directly to the GEO1, that is the geometry. Before we leave the GEO1, we still have to complete two steps. One is we need to check on the first button on the right hand side, bottom corner. The first one is display. It instructs the geometry to display that particular model connected to geometry 1. 
the second one is the one next to it it's called render we also need to turn it on in order to instruct the geometry one to render those model and if you so happen to forget to turn on any one of them so you may not be able to see your graphics okay now we are ready to go back to jump to the project one so you see that the donut disappeared but you can add your new objects by like selecting the SOP and choosing any one you like for example like box it's a simple object that you can directly connect it here once you have the input inside the geometry you will see there will be a link on the left hand side to denote the input signal so if you right click on the box again you can see this is a Two dimen a three dimensional display rather than 2D. Okay, so that is the very basic step to set up the 3D environment. In order to render the 3D object, so we make use of this render top. And if you take a look of the surface of the 3D object, it go with the default material that's the gray area the gray tone and what we can do with it is we can change the appearance by modifying the material so we can tap and then goes to one of the options we haven't worked out before is the MAT MAT stands for the material that we use to work with the 3D objects. The one we're going to use is the phone, P-H-O-N-G. That is also the default one that we're going to use. So we click on the geometry, turn on the parameter window that is essential. And that's quite a number of tabs that we might want to work with. The first one transform is important when we going to translate, rotate or move the objects around. And for the material we'll put it in the render tab here. And then we just drag the material from one onto the material. It will change the appearance of these objects and if you want to make sure it's actually changed we can click on the phone one and like changing the diffuse color right into yellow and then eventually you see the object change according to the material color and the other thing you can work on is to transform if you say like rotate it 25 degree in x direction 45 degree in the y direction you have a new view of the render output like this so this is the very basic step for the camera we can also try to see by default is three units sorry five units away from your objects so if you pull it away like put it like eight you have a smaller one but if you place it closer like three you have a much bigger object in front of the camera so this is the use of the camera object and again eventually you can go back to the perform window to turn on the fill remove the border and again in the perform window you have this full screen display of your 3d objects so now we can move it back a little bit 
so you will have this displayed right here as an 3D object. 